Hi and welcome back. In this video, we're going to solve this problem. So the problem is, uh, we wanted to get the top score here, top 1, 2, 3, but we wanted to get the unique score. And in our source, as you can see, there are duplicates. For example, the maximum here is uh, 1,000 here, and there is two 1,000. We wanted to eliminate the, the other 1,000 and then return the second biggest, and that's the what we're gonna put here. So the first thing that you will uh, maybe thinking of, of a formula is maybe the rank, uh, but I guess this is not the solution, but let's see the rank, and I'm gonna use the rank equivalent, which is a newer version, which is identical to the rank. And uh, basically, we're telling this number uh, we're gonna test this number of this number what what is the rank of this number within this range and then the order just um, close it we want it as descending and that's it and then just properly lock the array here the range here and then copy and paste it here now you can see the rank which is one in this case two ones but there is no two three so there might be a problem and you transfer it here so um, there is also another way con combining this uh, rank here with the count tip. Let me check that. Um, having a unique rank within this range. So uh, in the count tip, you're going to have expandable range here. It's expandable. You just can press it, press semicolon, and then um, lock the first cell here so that when you copy it down, it will create a range and then the criteria will be also this part here this number and then close it and then let's see copy and paste it here so you can see the 13 here become 14 and then the 2 here is 3 but this is unique number but there is no 1 so in the count if you're gonna minus 1 I'm gonna put minus one on that so that the order will be the same there will be 20 items here and that's it there is one two three maybe that's the case here but the value still is in duplicate that is not really the the value that should be put here in our problem so that is not the solution so the solution here is to use the aggregate function with a function number large but uh, let me try the large function first here. So in a large function, basically uh, in a very simple, if this is unique, the large function will work. So this is the range and then the K is basically telling your large function which um, biggest number would you like? Is it the first biggest one, the second or third and so on? So we're gonna use the a helper cell here, which is also in the format, which is one. And then okay. And then lock this part here, copy and paste it, and that's it. That's basically returning this function here, the, the equivalent value, the equivalent score here. But again, this is not the, the solution. Let me just copy and paste it, and then let me have a reference for that here. So this is the first one. So really, is to remove first the, the, the duplicates and get the unique. And in order to do that, if you're using Office 365, you can use the unique function. But we're focused on a formula that is applicable on uh, many versions of Excel. And the counterpart of unique, in the, the old ways of getting the unique value is using the frequency functions. So we're going to use the frequency and then put that in an if statement. And then this the array that we'll be going to have in the if frequency formula we're going to put that in the large function within the aggregate so that's the solution for that so let me first try the frequency getting the unique so this is the data array and then the beans the beans array is basically the the limit so the trick here to get the unique value is also put this array here into the beans and then that's it it returns a 2. Let me just check it with F9. This is a series. As you can see, 2, 1, and there, there are also zeros. So uh, 2 here means 682 is repeated 2 times. This is 1 time, 1 time. Then the 0 here, that means this is the second value. As you can see, this is 2. 
which is the 1,000, and then the other 1,000 is eliminated, which is 0. So that is the interpretation for that, eliminating the second uh, value if it is a duplicate. Now, uh, we're going to put this in, a, in an if statement, all of this. Basically, this is the logical test here, the series here. And if the value is true, then return all of it. And then if it is false, then return the, the, the word false and close it. And then let me check at 682 because, again, this is an array. So basically, you're just putting this in their formula, all of this. But the repeated values here, which is, for example, 1,000, uh, it now returns a word false. So that's what we need here. And then we're going to put that in an aggregate formula. In uh, a function number, which is 14, equivalent to the large function, and then we're going to use 6, which is ignore error values. And then the array is basically this if frequency here. And then the k for the large is uh, this one. The same thing with the large function that we did earlier. And then close it. That's it. Properly lock again. F4, F4, F4. And then copy and paste it. And that, that's it. That's the unique top 3 score within this range here. Let me check it. This is the 1 here. This is the 2, which is 1,000. That is not uh, the top 2 score. This is the second one and the third one. So basically, that's the solution for that. Let me just copy and paste it here for reference again. Um, if we eliminated it, the, the first one, if we eliminated the, the highest one by putting 0, uh, the formula is still working. But there is a problem when you just clear the content. When you clear the content, there is a value, but it's, it's not the rank anymore because that should be 904 in this case, the top one. So let me just hide it. My proposed workaround for that is to use a helper. And in this helper, I'm going to use the AND formula for that to convert these uh, values here in a number. So anything in this value here will be converted into number. If it's a number, then it will stay as a number. If it is a blank, it will return a zero. So I'm going to copy and paste it. So you can see here, it becomes zero. Now this range here, I'm going to put it in a name manager. I'm going to name it a score. Okay, that is now saved in a name manager. And then I'm going to replace this, this um, range here with a score and also a score and another score basically transferring your reference into this helper cell here and press ok and that's it when you clear uh, content on it on your source it will re return the proper top three score within the list and i guess this is the appropriate way to solve this problem and that's it i'm finished here i'm done if you're liking my videos, you can subscribe in my channel and see you next time and thanks.